all right guys welcome to another episode of we got your vote it is sunday i am talking fast because i am high on caffeine and i'm ready to get this show on the road let's hit the road let's get on it amy how are you wonderful great glad to hear it now what is the first <laughs> polling question for we got your vote <laughs> we asked uh you all in that community tab on youtube uh which character was redeemed most by the snyder cut uh 51 percent uh said cyborg uh 18 percent said joker 12 percent said superman 11 percent said batman and eight percent said the flash you have not seen the snyder cut have you i have not nor have i seen the og justice league and i just cannot get it together to care wow i will have to concur because the uh what is his name fisher the the, the person who played cyborg ray, mm -hmm. ray fisher was upset at first i i, I looked at him as a, as a, a disgruntled employee who was like all my scenes were cut i don't like that Ugh. but then after seeing the snyder cut i was like yeah this movie was technically a like his character was movie was was more focused on his character than any other other characters with when you threw all the things that were cut out that that uh, Z that Zack Snyder's uh, threw back in with his, Z his Snyder cut Zack's not Zack Snyder um, it's like yeah I can now see what Ray Fisher was talking about I'm like, well, I feel like between that and like a whole lot of corroborating stories now coming out against Joss Whedon, yeah. I feel like he is not that I ever didn't believe him, yeah. but I feel like very, very uh, vindicated. At, yeah, at first, at first it was argue, it was, ar it was arguable. Like he's just a bitter actor who's mad because I had to cut his scenes because Warner Brother needed me to cut a four-hour movie down to two hours, and I could see that. But then when you get Buffy the Vampire Slayer, like. I don't want to be associated with Whedon anymore, and that's all I'm gonna say. It's like, it's like now it's like okay, there, there just that just goes back into my whole blackest moment things. Like now that Buffy said something, like maybe Ray was right. No, I'm just I'm, I'm just joking. I don't know. But no, uh, you're not wrong though. I mean, hey, now we're listening to him. Now, hey, hey, after seeing the, the, the Zack Snyder cut, I'm now agreeing with Ray Fisher. He's right that movie cyborg his character was the heart of the of that movie and everything that was cut out took away what uh what was special about what could have been in the theater um theater actual cut so maybe he did it on purpose maybe he did it just because he had to and i don't know but ray wasn't wrong his his scenes were very uh i appreciated him more after seeing the Zack Snyder cut. That's all I'll say about that. All right, what's the uh, the next one? Doctor Strange just had a one night stand with the strongest Avenger. Ooh. Which, Marvel, which Marvel Comics hookup would be the worst to happen in the MCU? 58% said Happy Hogan and Pepper Potts. 18% voted Captain Marvel and War Machine. 9% said Winter Soldier and Black Widow. 9% said Agent Wu and Darcy, and 6% said Black Panther and Storm. You wouldn't want to see uh, uh, John Favreau and, uh, what's it, Pepper Potts, what's it? Gwyneth, Gwyneth, Gwyneth Potts. hook up. I mean, it happened in the comic books. I'm going to, I'm going to take a pass on that one. Baby, let's cruise. Oh. Couple of these, couple of these though, I could probably... Give me, give me thirty seconds and a, a Google search with Safe Search off, and It'd be, I can find you. I can find you some fanfiction.net links. That's all I'm saying. One one of the comments was uh, about how Captain Marvel isn't the uh, uh, one of the strongest uh, characters in the MC. Yes, yes, she. Like I, I got a couple Brie Larson comments and stuff. Like like, come on, guys, get yeah. over it. Like okay, it, it happened. Okay, it's just the comic. Book. It's not. It's not even the real MCU. It's the comic book. Okay, Doctor Strange and Captain Marvel hooked up, and you can see in the picture they regretted it afterwards. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, they didn't obviously regret it during, but uh, I mean, you can only imagine. I, I I look. Everybody wants to hate on it because they don't. They're mad at, at, at Captain Marvel. I'm curious on what happened during. You got the Sorcerer Supreme. And you got a Captain Marvel. I'm, I'm sure there was some levitation going on. There was probably a lot of lights, a lot of flashing things. Like, like just a 
bunch of like a Boyd spectacle. Show at the end. Cynthia. I'm, I'm sure there was a big spectacle at the end. Yeah. I mean, I'm curious on all that. I was like, that's just me. But I agree with this whole Happy Hogan and Pepper Potts thing, you know, because Robert Downey Jr. and Gwyneth Paltrow's chemistry was great. I wouldn't want to see. It was funny to see Happy get with Peter Parker's aunt with Aunt May. That was funny, but I wouldn't want to see him get with Pepper, even if it did happen in the uh, in the movie. Uh, but and then people got mad at what Captain Marvel and War Machine. But the War Machine, what's his? What's that's Don Cheadle. Mm-hmm. Don's too old for Brie Larson. <laughs> but that's but that's the MC. I feel like Agent Wu and Darcy has I don't know. I, I they got good chemistry. That I want to see happen. If, if, maybe not a romantic relationship, but I still want that spin-off. I want Wu and Darcy to have Teammates, their Teammates, yeah. But Black Panther and I'm I'm not surprised that that was the lowest for like cuz that wasn't the worst. Black Panther and Storm did get married. So maybe they'll do that storyline, maybe they won't. Mm-hmm. They have to reca- recast T'Challa. That's just me. Uh, what's the the next one? Which Superman song gets you the most hype? 49% voted for Williams' Superman theme. 35% said Hans Zimmer's Man of Steel. 10% said Save Me by Remy Zero. And 6% voted for Superman the Animated Series. Where are you on, on those options? I mean, I feel like the correct choice is the like OG Superman theme. I also, fun fact, learned a Girl Scout song that was like a a pre-dinner prayer set to the Superman theme Mm -hmm. that just lives rent-free in my head. How does it go? Thank you, Lord, for giving us food. (laughs) Thank you, Lord, for giving us food, for the food we eat and the friends we meet. Thank you, Lord, for giving us food. That must have been like preschool. That must have been like a a church preschool. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord, for giving us food. Damn it. Rent free in your brain. I should never have asked. You will never be. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord, for giving us food. The joys of a church preschool education. That's as religious as I get. Thanksgiving dinner. (laughs) For the supper. I expect a video of like all your kids doing that before dinner so night. An extra gravy. Where is dessert? Where is dessert? Where is dessert? <laughs> but yeah, I do feel like uh, that that doofy ass song aside, uh, objectively, just a great, great cinematic. Mm. No, we're talking hype. Thank you, Lord, for giving us food. Is now the number one song in my head now. <laughs> on iTunes. <laughs> on iTunes. Yeah, make that the number one song, guys. Uh, what's, <laughs> what's next? Uh, now Black Widow is going to Disney Plus Premium Access and theaters. So if you have access to both where you live, which will you see it on? 59% said in theaters, 41% said on Disney Plus. I'm surprised that's as close as it is. Yeah. I'll, oh, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'll make a little disclaimer now. I know I, I, mm-hmm. I'm usually told uh, uh, by by Amy not to g- give fuel to you know to this kind of a fire, but I'm gonna make an announcement right now. This channel, this community, is not a platform for people to like complain about everything being woke and all that. Like, look, like I understand if you if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But when I saw all the comments about how I'm not gonna watch Black Widow because I'm not about that woke stuff. When the hell did Black Widow become a, oh, that's about woke culture kind of a thing? Now, I can understand when some people are all like uh, a character, a female, oh, like, like, what was it? Toxic men are like mad when a female character who's never had a movie before gets a movie out of nowhere and it makes a billion dollars. Captain Marvel. Like, they get all triggered. But, but, um, uh, just bla- say you hate women. Exactly. <laughs> just say you hate women because Black Widow, played by Scarlett Johansson, started off in what a, as a side little character in Iron Man Two, but was- also like one of the most recognizable, like loved characters in that whole in the, huge in universe the, in the MCU universe. E- ever since, especially after, after uh, Avengers. So she was introduced in Iron Man Two. 
she came back in avengers and it's been in like almost every movie since and now like what 12 years later is now getting her own movie and and still it's whoa we're getting so just like just like uh uh amy said just admit that you just don't like women like every movie that has a superhero in it has to be a guy and if this if it's ever a girl it's an agenda no the yeah agenda i don't understand the like acknowledging and and telling stories about people who aren't straight white males is yeah. not an agenda it's just what the world looks like yeah. and also like if i want to be cynical about it it's what people are starting to want to see more and more and like that is how the the public is you know shifting their interest so yeah of course movies like disney it's not a woke agenda they just realize like a scarlett johansson black widow movie is gonna make a million goddamn dollars like a billion bucks so like yeah we're gonna do it she, she's she's been in the mcu since 2000 and what nine 2000 whatever yeah and it's been what 10 years and she's st- now she finally get all the all the the movie starring men have that have been you, you can't get one what the hell like it, it makes no damn sense we get it you it, hate it, women it, it, it just it's like, like she said just admit you, you you hate women that's the agenda i'm like if you're really trying to keep like out of the 20 movies that starred men you can't have one starring a woman dude what's i mean that's that, that's on so you so much hate mail for this just it's fine bring it on that. nerds <laughs> <laughs> what's the last one we got? uh we asked what movie event activities do you want to return to or uh do you miss the most 53 percent said midnight screenings 23 percent said trying to ri- arrive early to get in front of the waiting line 21% miss dressing up in costumes or cosplay, and only 2% miss trying to save your seat. I don't miss that one. Grandma, I'm like, I just miss my like $6 matinees when I'm the only person in the theater because I have a weird schedule. Yeah. So every once in a while, it's like, I'm free Monday at 10.30. I'm going to go see a movie then. Oh, my God. The Dollar Theater is in mm-hmm. real day. Out of, uh, like, since the pandemic, when all these things started shutting down and whatnot, I didn't think about this, but this was brought to my attention earlier today, that uh, the, the the Dollar Theater, or the matinee, is, uh, is, in, is in serious danger because... Um, now that Disney and all these other uh, studios are they're, they're what they're doing is they're shrinking the the window between when a movie is uh, brought to the theater to when it can be brought onto home release. They at first it used to be like 90 days, uh, then they're shrunk down to 60. Now it's being shrunk down to like 45 days. That will kill the dollar movie because tr- traditionally the movie would would premiere in the the big theaters for like a couple of weeks and then would come down to like the the dollar theaters later so but if it's already being brought you know home at that time when it's usually brought down to the dollar theaters what the heck do i need to go to a dollar theater for it's already i can already get it at home so since they're shrinking that window so i was like this is the death my six dollar grandma (laughs) that i am going to burn this I mean, well, I mean, now they're saying like, well, you might as well subscribe to HB, uh, to Disney Plus, HBO Max, and all these other things now. That that's what they're. Tra- that doesn't give me the weird little serotonin boost of like, I left the house to do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Real, I'm, I'm a real girl. I live in the world. It's like you, you're you're losing out on your traditional whole. You know, getting your three day old popcorn, going to that mm-hmm. that weird uh, uh weirdly lit. You know, movie theater with the sticky floors where you you hear your feet go, chick, 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 where you the sticky floors. It's like me and one dude in the back in a trench coat, and yeah. like, what's he doing back there? None of my business. Mm-hmm. It's the dollar theater. Baby. Exactly, it's the dollar theater. It's like, Why are these floors so sticky? And he's like, I just came. <gasps> guys let us know what you think about the matinees and and all that stuff like i said guys this is the show where you're like hey in the community tab we'll we'll have polling questions and, and whatnot and uh i 
I like to grab the the ones that get uh, the most attention, and I'm gonna put them on uh, on this show for on a Sunday for you guys to to uh, to express your uh, opinions on it. Your so, hatred of women, primarily. Your, your, your hatred of mid, uh, women. You don't and, all hate women. And, and, and your love for st- your hatred for women and love for sticky floors in dollar mm-hmm. theaters, uh, right here on We Got Your Vote. So appreciate you guys for participating on another episode. <laughs> Uh, we got your vote uh, don't forget to check us out uh, on our weekly show every Wednesday for uh, the talk through the media's digital entertainment news show with me and Amy and Amy if they want to check you out on YouTube for your uh, adventures online where can they go to do that I'm like so scared after the things I've said in this episode to release any personal information <laughs> I'm at these things uh, the Amy dot N dot Newman is the Instagram. The other one's the Twitter. Uh, if you go to either of those, you can find links to check out my uh, YouTube web series. It's called Your Biggest Fan. It's a, an original uh, rom com web series I wrote and act in, and uh, we had a lot of fun making it. So if you like uh, kind of fun original comedies, check it out. And guys, if you want to reach me, that's uh, Chris Fagan, nineteen eighty. That's uh, instagram or uh, twitter you guys uh know me i'm usually the the guy that's just you know chillaxing and being you know maxing all cool and shooting some b-ball outside in the school and a couple of guys that were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood you know just hit me up guys anytime you want until next time peace (laughs) if you like what you saw make sure to subscribe to the channel and please drop a like on this video it really does help us Also, don't forget you can turn on notifications so you don't miss a single review, react, why is that trending, or we got your mail.